Hey, what's going on, gang? LG, the Grumpy Fly Fisherman, in the house for not much longer. It is, um, man, what a process. My wife has been crushing it, packing up for our move, and we are getting closer. Um, some of this stuff is already en route to our new location down south, and uh, we just spent a better part of nine days down in Florida uh, dealing with some moving stuff, but also we had a little vacay. Um, down in Rosemary Beach, where I got to surf cast um, most of the days I was down there. Did a little kayak fishing. You saw that video. I could not catch a fish. I caught a flounder. That was it. Surf casting with my fly rod. And I had some great days. It was cold. The water was chilly. The air was chilly. Temps were in the 50s and 60s the whole time uh, we were down there. I'm guessing that had something to do with the bite being off a little bit. But uh, yeah, had a couple of great days out there. Just couldn't buy a fish. Anyway, um, here's a little bit of video. Uh, not the greatest video production, but a little bit of video from down in Rosemary Beach uh, where we stayed. And then um, a little bit of my World Cup stuff. So I retired from announcing this year. And one of the events I did was the Xfinity Birds of Prey downhill at Beaver Creek uh, ski racing. Uh, America's only downhill and World Cup event um, as far as speed goes. So, uh, just a little bit of that action as well, just so you can see what I did for a living. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit in Florida if I get the opportunity, but it won't be ski racing. LG, <laughs> the Grumpy Fly Fisherman. Hope you enjoy the video. I'm out. Um, my next video, who knows what that's going to be. We are in the middle of this massive moving project we got going on. So, I will uh, talk at you soon. Thanks for checking out the video. Subscribe and like. Leave comments. And uh, we will talk to you soon. <laughs> okay, well, you know where I'll be. <clears throat> okay, girls are back from walking. I guess it's packed. <clears throat> um, LG, the Grumpy Fly Fisherman, a couple things. When you're doing this game, I like to have on Bomber my Sims water wading shoes and make sure you've got some protection for your hands, not from the sun. But when it comes to stripping line, because this line will burn your hands, your fingers. So, gloves. Or at least finger guards. Which Sims makes also. So. ultimate goal is that sandbar out there. I'm just going to walk out there and start fishing. That's the program. <coughs> I'm going to run you right through it. So gloves, wading shoes, all Sims gear. And uh, we want to get out past this first trough and out to the sandbar out here. It's probably like four feet deep walking out there. And then uh, maybe two feet deep out on the sandbar. <clears throat> These are all set up by a company here. You can rent lounge chairs if you want to bring your own. And just for jollies, I'm just going to throw, throw a couple blind casts out. We got good sun right now, as you can see. But I'm going to walk out here, I don't know, another 50, 60 yards. It's a little chilly, you guys. <coughs> but you'll see what I'm talking about. It's going to get a little deeper right here. 
and then it'll uh, right where these waves are breaking. That's my sandbar destination. So if you're ever in this area, look for similar features. And uh, we want to fish the deep, the dark water on the back side of this sandbar is where I'm heading. <clears throat> We got real nice conditions right now. Good can see well. Alright. Here we go. Welcome along on the ride with the groupie fly fishermen. We might see some dolphins out here today too. But this is uh this is where we want to be, right at this transition in the deeper water. <coughs> and this is the game we just blind because you don't have to move much because these fish are these fish are moving. Let's see if we can wake somebody up out of here. But beautiful day, man. It's like, uh, lost my line. It's about 65 degrees out here right now. A little chilly for these parts. time of day to have this tide. Again, it's flat right now. But, we'll see what we can find, man. Plus, if you see fish up on the sand, I mean, if fish come over this break, you're going to see them, more than likely. size. <laughs> All right, well, Flounder got E2, I guess. He's out of here. Classic. Oh, oh. stop recording. Flounder on the fly with an LG, the groupie fly fisherman. Oh, that was bizarre. Must have chased that thing a long time. Alright, well, that's a fish. That's the second time I've caught a flounder on the fly, by the way, here on a clouser. Yo, hey, LG the Grumpy Fly Fisherman, snow blind. Actually, uh, I am back in Colorado from my trip down to the Gulf uh, with my wife and met my stop stepdaughter down there. And this is uh, Beaver Creek, Colorado. If you look 
way up there on the hill. This is crazy for December. Tomorrow's December. You can play golf. But uh, way up there you can see uh, some ski runs. That's where I'm heading. I am heading up to work um, and announce the Beaver Creek Birds of Prey downhill World Cup race. Which um, the actual racing starts on Thursday. We got a couple training days. I think today's not happening. But I got to be up here to check in and get credentials and all that. Anyway, that's what I do for a living. This is my last gig. Done with the bike stuff. And uh, this will be my last World Cup event. LG the Grumpy Fly Fisherman from Beaver Creek, Colorado. All right. LG the Grumpy Fly Fisherman from Beaver Creek. I'm in Villa Montaigne. It's kind of premium parking this week. It comes with the gig, though. This is it. Last year, Birds of Prey. I'm gonna gear up and go skiing. I get a ski pass for the week, so uh, let's do that. I'll be back from the ski lift. This is sound crew, production crew, race course. Um, this is where Doug Lewis will be sitting. And what's that? The training announcement in This is the World Cup touch screen. So first skier up is going to be a bit voice. Dale Ballet up next from France. And then I have a touch screen here that kind of helps me navigate through everything. Start list. What's going on live? First gear up. Who's in the uh, on deck circle? Summary of what's going on in the race. So it's all, all live, updated as we go on. It's pretty cool stuff. That's gonna be me right That's there. You. And you can turn yourself push, on and push off. Push button on and off right there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're getting, uh, we're only about an hour and a half out till we kick up, but I'll be starting announcements here in about, oh, 20 minutes. There you go, are you ready? Ready to go? Do you have one or number two? Yeah, you have number two. two? I got number two and I'm like 15 yeah. seconds. And then, I have cast two. I don't know. Wait, you should be hot. Okay. Luke, let me know if we're going to about to test uh, Sportscaster 2, number Mike, uh, number 2, Mike, uh, let me know if he's getting it. Okay, anything on VCAs yet? No. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to roll, so. He's getting ready to roll. Uh, this should be coming at you. All right, come on. Five, four, three, two. Good morning, Beaver Creek. Guess what time it is? It is World Cup time here at Beaver Creek. And we need to, first of all, thank everybody that's here at Beaver Creek, making this dream come true here at the Xfinity Birds of Prey downhill training day. Two downhill events this weekend, unprecedented here at Beaver Creek. And we will also have racing Thursday and Friday. We'll get more into that later, of course. Leading things off today in our training run is going to be uh, Bayat Thois. Uh, he won here two years ago, and he will lead things off for the Swiss on training day here at Beaver Creek. A big shout out to all of our volunteers. We cannot do it without you. Everybody involved, our bus drivers, our race crew, our side slippers, timing crew, race officials. It cannot happen with everybody here. And we are glad everybody is here today as the sun shines down here at the finish line of the world famous Xfinity Birds of Prey downhill course. From what I hear, conditions are absolutely perfect. Up 